Today we are exploring source free parallel RLC circuit. Let's draw the parallel RLC circuit first where there is no source and R, L and C are in parallel. This circuit is being excited by the energy initially stored in the capacitor and inductor and this energy is represented by initial inductor current that is equal to I0. And initial capacitor voltage that is equal to V0. These are the initial values. Now at T is equal to 0. Let's assume that the initial inductor current I0 is denoted by I0 that is the current across the inductor and which is equal to 1 over L with the integration limits of infinity to 0 V of T D of T. As the inductor does not change its current abruptly. And the initial capacitor voltage V0 at time t is equal to 0 is equal to V0. So if we apply KCL at node A, here let's suppose this is node A. So apply KCL, we will get IR plus IL plus IC. All these currents are positive because all of these currents are going away from the node. So IR by Ohm's law I is equal to V over R plus IL as we have seen here is equal to this 1 over L with the integration limits minus infinity to T V of T D of T plus IC and we know IC the current across capacitor is equal to C DV over DT. We know this from previous equations. Now if we take derivative of this equation and, and divide it by C then we will get d square v over dt square plus 1 over rc dv over dt plus 1 over lc into v is equal to 0. If we place the first derivative by s and second derivative by s square then we will get the characteristics equation s square plus 1 over rc into s plus 1 over lc is equal to 0. So this is the characteristics equation. So this is the characteristic equation for source free parallel RLC circuit. This is the equation here. Now the roots of the above equation are as this is the quadratic equation so we get the roots of this equation minus 1 over 2 rc plus minus 1 over 2 rc we know this by quadratic equation formula minus 1 over lc we can write it as s12 is equal to minus alpha plus minus alpha square minus omega naught square and under root so from here we know alpha is equal to 1 over 2 rc and omega naught is equal to 1 over lc under root. So we have to remember these values to solve the next equations. Okay based on this alpha and omega naught we have three possible solutions. The first one is when alpha is greater than omega naught. If alpha is greater than omega naught then the response is over damped and for over damped the response will be v of t is equal to a1 exponential s1t plus a2 exponential s2t and the second case is when alpha is equal to omega naught when this is the case then the response is critically damped and the response will be v of t is equal to a1 plus a2 t exponential minus alpha t the third case is when alpha is less than omega naught when this is the case then the response is under damped and here vt then will be equal to exponential minus alpha t a1 cos of omega dt plus a2 sin of omega d into t. We can find the value of a1 
when the time is equal to zero here when we place t is equal to zero and to find the value of a2 we will take the derivative of this vt so dv over dt at time is equal to zero now we have to remember these values of alpha omega naught these roots and these three responses to solve the circuit